What's up guys, it's Easy Auto Fix and today I'm going to show you how to make your throttle body go from this to this. Cleaning the throttle body is necessary to keep your engine performing at its best. Over time, dirt and carbon deposits can accumulate on the throttle plate disrupting the air fuel ratio. This can lead to symptoms like a rough idle, poor gas mileage, sluggish acceleration, and in worse situations, engine stalling. That's why it's important to clean your throttle body every 60 to 80,000 miles, depending on your vehicle. On most modern cars with fuel injection, you can locate the throttle body by following the air intake into the engine. If you're unsure where the throttle body is located, you can refer to your vehicle's repair manual. I'll leave it in the description below. So in my case, to access the throttle body, I have to take off the intake manifold. Firstly, I want to make sure to disconnect the quick release couplings and any electrical connectors that are in the way of the intake manifold. The next step is to disconnect the resonator. Now, one of the intake manifold bolts is blocked by the belt tensioner, so I'll need to move it aside. Here, I'm just loosening the belt tensioner and sliding off the serpentine belt to the side. The next step is to remove the top belt tensioner bolt and loosen the bottom one. Now, I can easily move the belt tensioner aside. The next step is to remove all five bolts of the intake manifold. I'm using a 10mm socket and extension to do this. Now I'm going to disconnect the PCV hose. And lastly, I'm going to disconnect the throttle body connector. Finally, it's time to remove the intake manifold. I just set it carefully aside for now, and the first thing I'm going to do is cover the throttle body hose so that no dirt or debris could get in. Now I'm going to clean the surface of the intake ports using a shop towel and a throttle cleaner. Now to thoroughly clean the throttle body, I'm going to remove it from the intake manifold using a 7mm socket. You want to make sure to use the throttle body cleaner for this. Spray it onto the throttle body and clean it with a toothbrush. Now, you also want to open the butterfly valve very carefully and clean everything thoroughly. After you got most of the gunk off, grab a shop towel and finish cleaning the throttle body with it. Just make sure to inspect the intake manifold gaskets and replace the throttle body gasket. Now it's time to put everything back together in reverse order. Here are the torque specs for the following components. Once you got everything done, it's time to make your vehicle's computer relearn the idle. This step can vary from car to car, so check your owner's manual for the correct steps. For my vehicle, the first step is to set the parking brake. Make sure to set the transmission in park and turn off all the accessories like the lights and the radio. Now I'm going to fully press on the brake pedal and start the car. I'm just going to run the engine until it reaches normal operating temperature. The next step is to let the engine idle for one minute. Now I'm going to press the brakes and shift into neutral. Same thing here, I'm going to press down on the gas pedal for one minute. The last step is to drive the car for 12 miles to complete the idle relearn strategy. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe so I can see you in the next one.